then where are we now? Wait a minute, guys. I'm done with see. We are at Caliber 3. There's very counter-terror and security. And I brought my friends study about what to do when someone is trying to attack you. Sadly, it's in Israel. It's happened uh, lately a lot. Think about Gaza. And now what we're doing, we are studying what to do with it. I mean, look at kids. Uh, yeah, but the kids are supposed to study how to deal with terrorists. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, think about you here in America and uh, and uh, in uh, uh, Europe. Thinking about how easy their life is, but in Israel, okay. their life is not so easy. Guys, making a shape like this, straight line, straight line, straight line. <laughs> Guys, do it fast. Straight line. Straight line, straight line. What I want you to do right now is count. Everyone counts their group, make sure they're here. Your group. If everybody's here, leave a If somebody is missing, find a security guard, police officer, soldier. Tell them who is missing, where you saw them last, what they were wearing, and if you have a picture, show us a picture. This is how you help us. By leaving, you clear the area, you make it easier for us to work. By letting us know who's missing, we know what to look for. Remember, we have no idea where you are. We have no idea where you are. So I put us in the shuk, the shuk is it's now almost 12 o'clock. How many people do you think are there right now? In the shuk right now. Thousands? Thousands? Okay, you're, you're clear. Clearly not an accountant. Because otherwise you would have given me a better number. But okay. Thousands of people. Thousands of people in a small space. How do you keep track of something like that? Answer is you can't. We can't. We have no idea. So if something happens, save yourselves, find your group, count. Everyone's there, you leave. Somebody's missing, find a police officer, tell them who's missing, description, and we go from there. You guys got it? Yeah! Excellent. I need my victim. <gasps> a victim! Come over here, take out the earplugs. It's, it's uh, um, What's your name? Zach. Amzaki? Yeah. Okay, you're Amzaki. Got it. Amzaki. <laughs> the mitzvah guy. You want to know something? You're a really bad victim. See, if you're a good victim, you'd be dead, right? If you're a victim, you would be? Dead. Are you dead? Then you're not a victim. Why are you not dead? They saved you. Who is they who saved you? Soldiers. Got two. Who on this side? Thank you. Can you move it off the side? Thanks. Or back there. Okay. Explain. I want you to explain to everybody here how how you were saved. You, so what did the what did the soldier tell you to do? Okay, so you just you just followed instructions. He said he said stay behind me and went from there. Okay, that's what you remember. Does it, does anybody see anything different? What did what did you guys see? People. People. Okay. I, I'm I'm kind of worried because Um Zaki here is the focus of this whole thing, and none of you paid attention to what was happening to him. You went over there. Okay, so you guys are walking around. I was over here. Shooting happens. Uh, where's the picture, right? Someone was in the picture. The guy with the picture, not me. Yeah, here he is. Here okay. is it. Okay, moved him out of the way. I went forward. When I went forward, I saw someone came from the side and stood in front of me. Is that right? Start your name. Then you took your hand, something like this. Is this what happened to you? Did anybody see this? No. But this is what happened to you? Okay. Now I want you guys to just keep in mind, during this whole thing, you were witnessing something, but you weren't really witnessing what was going on. This was going on. Now if somebody is standing in front of us like this, what's the 
What is he being presented? A shield. A shield. Is it? Is it? Trying to say that human shield? Does that make any sense? No. To get a human shield from someone you've never met? Does it make sense? I'll tell you it doesn't make sense. I'll give you a quick reason. Time. As soon as I'm a clear line of fire, I'm going to take the shot. This is a few extra seconds. Why do we spend those few extra seconds? Because Zach is family to us. Don't know him. Never met him. He thinks his name is Amzak, but it isn't. It's Zach. Okay? Why are you family? Look at the flag. Has anyone ever explained the flag to you? So listen carefully. If I was wearing that over my shoulders, didn't have a star in it, what would you, what it would remind you of? No, over my shoulders like this. What would, what does it remind you of? What? Talib. Perfect. You know that. So what color is it? It's not blue. It's tchelit. Tchelit in CT. The basis for the Jewish flag is the talit. Look the flag over there. Top line is blue, right? If I tell you that's the sky, what's the bottom blue line? That's the sea. Sea, sky, in the middle you have the land. In the middle of the land you have the Magen David, the symbol of the Jewish people. The flag is Am Yisrael Eretz Yisrael. That's what the flag means. We did not have this flag 80 years ago. We did not have a country 80 years ago. They made, when they found the country, they made a promise. The promise is to protect anybody who is here. If you're here, your family. If your family will protect you. Do you guys understand what the flag means to us? Great. Go back, please. Now, because you guys were not completely aware of the, of, of the demonstration, I'm going to ask you more questions. I want to see how much knowledge you, you get along the way. Will terrorist attack occur? Anywhere. Anywhere. What? Okay. Any place, but usually a public place. Why a public place? Excellent. Okay, so public places. When can an attack happen? Anytime. Any place, anytime. You understand how hard it is to defend against? Impossible. Any place, anytime, by who? Any place, anytime, anybody. Get down! 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 Okay. Now you guys just witnessed an attack. Somebody is going to take out their phone and take a picture, right? Someone's going to take a picture. If the picture is from where he's standing, guess what you don't see in the picture? Look under my foot. If you take a picture from there, you see the knife. Tomorrow morning, this is going to be in the news. Yep. Which picture is going into the news? That one. that one. All we did was show you a situation and how easy it is to twist the truth. You guys got it? Okay. I'd like all of you guys to go on that side of the cones and face me. Okay. Guys, we need to aim through you guys. Why did we not shoot the guy right away? Because of you? What, you don't get special treatment? Guys, everybody behind the pool. Everybody behind the pool. What's the problem with taking out a guy in a crowded place? You don't want to hurt somebody else. You don't want to hurt someone else. I understand that the mission of counterterrorism is not to kill terrorists. It is to save people's lives. If we stop a terror attack or an injure or kill someone innocent, we failed the mission, we're not going to do that. In this case, what happened? An attack came through, so on top first, so on just cover my gun, down to the ground. Then the guns come out. Not before. That's how things work here. If we could stop an attack before it happens, if we could stop an attack before it happens, we should do this soon. Of course we should, right? Here's what you do. How many people in the marketplace? Thousands, Thousands of people. All you need to do is find one suspicious guy in the market. Good luck. Good luck, right? How do I do that? I look for someone who's out of time and out of place. Can I? Can I define it for you? No. You have to learn what that means. I'm going to show you now 
is how we deal with somebody who's suspicious. To do that, I'm going to bring out another soldier, a soldier who has very special skills, very well trained, very good looking, very hairy. No, I did not mean you did that. Guys, stand on the shield. I'm with you. Guys, it's well trained. It's well trained. Did we tell Shield to do this? No. Shield is not a protector dog. He's a protector dog. He knows what to do. He makes his own decisions. Now, he's going to come back. When he comes back, his behavior is different. Tell me how his behavior is different. He's kicking stuff. He's kicking stuff. He is going places he should go. Is he making eye contact? No. So one thing that I look at is where people look. Do you hear his voice? We asked him questions, but he's yelling at us. Something's going on with his body language. Now look at Shield's body language. Shield's telling us something. Shield's telling us something. Who's that on knife and attack? Okay, three soldiers. Which soldier move first? Which soldier move first? Shield. Did shield get a command? No. Saw a knife, knew it could be used, went in, got the guy down. Terrorist is neutralized. End of story. Why did the dog not attack? Yeah. Weapon on the floor. He is not a threat. 
Maybe he wants to, but if he doesn't have a weapon, he's not a threat. So we are not going to use violence unless we have no choice. What if you had a gun? Okay. That's why we do the body check. Open your shirt. He would detect it. But I want to show you guys something else. A different thing that we can use. She'll give him a hug. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Guys, a big hand for Nachman in the suit. Woo! Thank you to Shield. Thank you, Thank you to Ty. Thank you. All right. Nice. Guys, hang on a second. Yeah. He would have gone. There's been a command. I don't know. I don't know. So every army has a dog. Every no, the army, the army has its own unit of dogs, the Imam has its own unit of dogs, we train our unit of dogs. Not that many uh, forces within the idea of these dogs. So if you go on a mission and you need a dog, you get a dog with a handler. Stand on the line. I want you to do that as fast as you can. Can I have you guys come up here? Word is the Hebrew word for terrorist. You'll hear it. I don't want to say it all that because you know you did that may not be in focus. That. I'm going to say one word. The word for terrorist in Hebrew, he's going to react. I want you to tell me how many seconds it takes from the time I yell until you hear this click. You heard it? Okay, you have to count seconds. That's going to tell me how good he is. That's going to tell you how good he is. If I can do it in the middle of the shooting. Before he shoots. Buddy! Buddy! Your body, step forward to the side. Step forward to the side. Pull the chamber, open the safety, sight under his eye. He's not looking at the gun. The gun comes up. Eye, sight, target, straight line, he shoots. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. On stop. Finger off the trigger. Turn the gun to the side. Finger off the trigger, stop the gun from shooting. The only way to shoot a bullet is by putting your finger on the trigger, squeeze the trigger. So the last thing you do is put your finger on the trigger. What do you do? Identify the target, clean line of fire, sights on target, then your finger on the trigger. to the side. Now I understand the status of the gun. If it's like this, blow in the chamber. If it's like this, empty. If it's like this, jam. Blow in the chamber, good. If I need to shoot again, I know what to work with. Empty, switch magazines. Jam, clear the jam. The reason is, I'm not done. Just because there's one terrorist down, is that the end of the attack? Absolutely not. He might get up, become a threat. Remember like we did over here? God became a threat. Or, there might be more than one. 
Everybody clear on how we work? Yeah. Listen carefully. Against the wall over there are wooden weapons. You guys see the wooden weapons? Do you see the wooden weapons? I'm giving you numbers one or two. Pistol grip in the back of the weapon. Couple pistol grip, three fingers in the stomach, a fist, finger off the trigger. Put the gun under your arm like this. Feet shoulder width apart, arm down by your side, eyes looking the person across from you because that's the person you're going to get. This is called the ready position. When I yell ready position, you stand like this, yell the word ready. Ready position! Okay. Um. What country are we in? Israel. Israel, perfect. What language do we talk to each other in Israel? Hebrew. What kind of Hebrew do we talk in Israel? Very loud Hebrew! You don't yell, I don't know what you're saying, you have to scream! Ready position! The message was not that loud. Here we go. If you are right handed, bring your left foot forward. If you're left handed, bring your right foot forward. Turn your feet so they're 45 degrees away. Bring the stock of the gun so it touches your shoulder and your chin at the same time. Not your cheek. Hand comes to the front of the weapon, your eyes still the person across from you. This is called body. So when I yell body, you're going to go from ready into body. When I yell body, you guys yell body. Is that clear? Clear! Yeah. your finger on the trigger? It's going to count to you five push-ups. Down, five push-ups on the gun. You don't have to do a push-up? Ah, then everybody does a push-up. Everybody on the ground now, five push-ups, let's go! Let's go, guys, let's go! Ready! Ready position! Let me hear you guys yell the word ready. Ready position! Ready position. Ready. 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 I yell body, you yell body, body position. Ready! What happened to yelling the word ready? Ready position! Ready! Ready position! Ready! Ready position! You guys are so sleepy! Did you like have a really fast rough night in the hotel or something like that? Like, or is it like the big breakfast in this morning? Big guys, breakfast! Listen very carefully. I need to wake you up and the way I do that is by physical work. When I yell wake up, everybody runs in place for five seconds. And I get to count to five, and I'm kind of slow counting. Three, two, one. Wake up! Ready. Run in place! Run in place! Five, four, three, two, one. Ready position! Ready. 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 Wake up! Wake up! Run in place! Five seconds! Five, four, three, two, ready position! Ready. 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 You completely missed the next word. After body comes weapon, what do you do? Raise the weapon to the, to the side of your eyes. To the height of your eyes, which means that it's not touching your chin, it's touching your cheek. Stay where you are, stay where you are, stay where you are, stay where you are. Finger and forward. Eyes, rear side, front side, and mommy. We're gonna aim for the center of mass. Okay, ready position. Body. When I say weapon, you say weapon, bring the weapon up. Weapon! Now make sure you have sights on the center mass the person across from you. Your finger is not yet on the trigger. Sights on target, yes or no? Ready position! Now from guys, from now on, sights on target, say the word on. Clear! Ready position! Ready! Weapon! Let me hear on! Ready position! Ready position! Body! Body. Weapon! Weapon. Weapon. Let me hear. On! On. Ready position! Wake up! Wake up! Five, four, three, 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 three. I told you that counting. Two, one! Ready position! Body! Weapon! Let me hear. On! Put your fingers on the trigger! Shoot! 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 Pow? Did you say pow? Pow. <laughs> How old are you? Pow. Child at heart. Child at heart. He said Call of Duty. 
I get it. This is not Call of Duty. This is talent. Guys, not pow! I want to hear one word that would have H. H means fire. Every time you squeeze the trigger, say H. It sounds like this. H, 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 H. Ready? Ready. Ready, mission. Starting. Weapon. On. And go. H, 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 H. Stop. Finger off the trigger back. Ready, position. In the real world, you do not stand in front of the and go ready. That is dumb. You yell the word terrorist. The word in Hebrew is mechaber. Listen, mechaber. Say it. Mechaber. I yell mechaber, you scream mechaber. Alright, weapon on. Don't say it. Just do mechabel it. terrorist. And they stop shooting. Is that clear? Yeah. Great, wake up. Come on, wake up, let's go! Good job, good job. Good, 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 good. I said, Mr. Bell, you guys did not react. Ready for this shot! Guys, when you hear Mr. Bell, what word do you have to scream? No, first, Mr. Bell, if you yell H, 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 the fire department comes. Yes. Ready for this shot! Oh, you were little waking up. Wake up, run, everybody run. Good, it's a nice morning jog. Everybody's running in place. Because of all the food you're eating in the hotel, you need to lose a few kilograms. No worries. Muhammad! Stop! Finger off the trigger. Go back. Listen carefully. We are doing one last drill, and it is complicated. Because you're going to move. I yell go. You guys rush to the white line, come back. Don't move yet. You guys are going to turn, run to that white line, come back. When you are back in your spot, you yell Mechabel, get the other guy. Although I want you guys to do this quickly, I want you to do it safely. Nobody runs too fast. Three, two, one, go! You're going to put your weapons neatly against the wall, not in a pile, neatly against the wall. I'm standing here. You're going to come, make a U-shape around me, make sure you have eye protection, hearing protection, but not in your ears. Three, two, one, go! Safety rules before we are going to live fire. I'm going to give you guys safety rules before we go to live fire. I need you to listen to every word that listen I say. Up, guys. Guys, I need you to listen to every word that I say, including the kids, everybody. Please do not interrupt me. Please do not ask any questions. I usually cover everything you need to know. If I get to the end and you have a question, ask it at the end. Clear? Yes. I didn't hear everybody. Yes, sir. Everybody who is here is going to be shooting. If you are not here, you are not going to be shooting. Safety rules. Okay. Everybody look at the end of the range. Do you guys see the sand wall? The sand wall, not the stones above it, not the wooden ties at the bottom, is called the shooting wall. The only safe, the only safe direction to point a weapon in this range is at the shooting wall and parallel with the ground. That means not up and down and not side to side, only parallel to the ground at the shooting wall. There are one, two, three, four metal targets. You guys see them? Yes. There's one wooden target over there on the left. You guys see that? Yes. Those are the targets. The only thing you shoot at a target, only shoot at the target your instructor tells you to. Do not shoot anywhere else. That is the target line. The white line here is the shooting line. We're going to put tables. We're going to put tables in front of the shooting line. You're going to shoot from behind the tables. I'm going to put you into different groups on the way line. I'm going to assign each group to an instructor. Instructors at the shooting line. You get called one person at a time. Wait for us to call you. Do not come up by yourselves. Even if you see somebody finished, we will call you. Sometimes we need a few seconds. When you come to us, we're giving you a weapon in your hand. Everything in this range, everything in this range is a weapon. As long as you're holding a weapon, where is it pointed? At the sand wall parallel with the ground. Your finger is going to be off the trigger. We're going to put you into a stable shooting position. 
show you what target to shoot at. You shoot, finish, come back, go to the end of your group. And this is where I need your help. Go back to the end of your group. Sir, I need you to pay attention. I need you to go back to the end of your group. Do not switch group sides, backwards, forwards, bathroom, stock market. Don't check it, it's not open, so don't worry. If you do that, we will lose track of who has shot and who hasn't shot. I have a certain amount of time. I have to finish by a certain time. If you move around and we have to chase you, I'm going to lose time. I won't be able to give everything I want you to give you, and I want to give everything that I can. So here, this is where you help yourselves more than you help me. Up until now, everything's clear? Yes. You're going to need safety equipment the whole time. That means glasses the whole time we're here. Even if there's no shooting, glasses on. Earplugs, you can either leave them in or take them out when there's no shooting to hear the information. Just to tell you a little story, about a year ago we had a wonderful family that was here studying bar mitzvah. The grandmother decided that the best place to get a picture of her children shooting guns oh, no. was oh, in no. front of them. Oh no. Oh yes. I'm not going to be that grandmother. We didn't have your grandma. <laughs> we didn't have the gun. The family had the guns. But, no, we stopped it right away. You guys understand, no one crosses the line for any reason. I'm going to explain to you, I'm not going to split you guys into two different groups. Everyone under 18, green wristbands, goes that way. Ah, this is my family. Well, you are my family. No, 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 no. I cannot tell. I'm not a grandmother. <laughs> Let's move, guy. He hits the target. And... Not a bad shot there, Jack. Not bad. Yeah, he was good. <laughs> Guys, this is real. It's real life in Israel. Sadly, it's real life in Israel and it's real fire. It's real bullets. It's not a game now. Of course, she was born here. Look at that, look at that, look at that, she hit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, I saw but in the in the video you will see it. Yeah, Oh the child children. Boss. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got four. I didn't want to steal these. These are bitty boys. Yeah, I went for it. I don't want to steal them. Got it. Uh, it's it's not really the main life in Israel, but it is an optional thing because we are suffering of a terror. Then I hope that you watch this part of the video. I do have more than 20,000 videos on my YouTube channel. Then don't forget to subscribe my channel. I thank you for being with me. Bye bye.